Hello friends, this is Dipali. I am here to share my knowledge on Success Factors Employee Central. In this video, we will see how an employee can record his attendances himself. I have given the username and the password of the employee who wants to record his timesheet. I will now log into the system. On the top right hand corner, I can see that I have logged in as Smith. This is the same employee, Adam Smith, for whom we were doing the absences in the previous video. We can see the timesheet tile here on the home page. Clicking the timesheet tile takes me to the timesheet page of this employee. This is the timesheet page starting from Sunday to Saturday. It shows the current week by default. So whenever you open the timesheet of the employee, it will take you to the current week. From this right hand side, the arrows that you see, you can either navigate to the past week or to the future week and record your timesheets. We can see that 23rd and 24th of July are already recorded as on call and overtime ph outside core the recording is done from 10 to 13 13 that is one in the afternoon the duration is auto calculated depending upon the start time and the end time that you give three more tells that there are three more fields apart from what you see on the screen currently the four fields that you see here are the time type, start time, end time, and duration. These are the mandatory fields to submit a timesheet. Clicking on the details shows three more fields, the cost center, legal entity, and comments, which you can also provide. You see that on call is shown as five hours. So these five hours are coming from the time recordings done from 21st of July to 27th of July. So this number, the five that you see here, is the submission or the sum of all the on-calls recorded for that particular week. And the total hours recorded for that week is six hours. So out of six hours, there are five on-call and one hour for a different time type. The status is showing us to be approved. This means that the time sheet is submitted but is pending for approval. You can either withdraw these time sheets or it will go to the manager or to whomsoever it is eligible for approval for him to approve. So if I come to the current week, I can try doing the Time sheet, or let me record a time sheet for this employee. So I will select 7th of August as the day and try to submit a time sheet say from 10 to 12. So if you see here, the duration gets auto calculated and I cannot edit it. I don't have the option to edit this duration. So if you see the blue bar comes up for 7th of August and the height of this blue bar will be depending upon the number of hours that you select. So if I increase the time, you see it goes a little more up and I can now submit the timesheet. It says the status is to be submitted because I have not yet submitted. And it says on call, I can give some comments and submit it. I have recorded four hours for on call on 7th of August. It says, sorry, we could not save the timesheet. See the reason below. And if necessary, try again. Future dated entries are not permitted. This is the reason. The system is configured in a way that future timesheet recordings are not permitted. Let me do a timesheet for a different date. Let me do it for 30th of July. I will select on call and provide the start time and end time and 
submit. It says that the timesheet was submitted successfully. If I click on withdraw, it asks me after withdrawing, you need to submit your timesheet again so that your manager can review it. So I can either withdraw or don't withdraw it. In this case, I have chosen to withdraw the timesheet. I have successfully withdrawn it and the timesheet will now not be visible to the manager. And here, instead of say two, hour, two hours, I can make it three hours. I want to edit it and I can submit it again after editing it. I can provide the comments if needed, or it's good to provide some comments so that the manager knows what you are actually trying to do. So if I come on 5th of August, I see that the there is already an absence on this particular date. It shows that annual leave for four hours is already there. So we do have an option to either edit the absences from the timesheet screen or to view the absences. From here itself, I can edit the leave type start date and submit the absence again or cancel the request from the timesheet screen itself or add an absence from this plus sign that you see here down below. And if you try to record an absence on a same day on which you already have an absence if you try to record an attendance on the same day you already have an ab absence you get this error message an absence on this particular day already exists for at least part of the attendance you have entered either record only times for this day that lie outside of the start and end times of this recorded absence or cancel this absence and enter your times again. Either you can cancel your absences or change your time in order to accommodate both absences and attendances on the same day. In this case, I can cancel and my changes would be reverted. And one more thing I would like to add here is here if you see this, it shows that the status of this particular timesheet is to be approved so usually it goes to the manager for approval so if we go to the employees profile and check who is the approver of this timesheet and try to approve it So this is the employee profile and I can check here. That Liam Fraser is the direct manager of this employee. If I log out and log in as Liam Fraser or as an admin who has the permissions to proxy as Liam Fraser and check whether he has got any timesheets for Adam Smith to be approved. So we can see that on his approve request style, there are two requests which he's supposed to approve and one is initiated by Smith on 3rd of August. So this is the same timesheet that we were looking. So if you come down, you can write the commands. It says on call for 30th of July. And here as a manager, you can approve. So it says that the workflow is approved. And if you 
go to the employees timesheet again. Maybe I can try going it as an admin itself. by going to the time of timesheet tab and clicking on go to timesheet. I can see that the recording which was shown here for 30th of July is now shown as approved which was showing as to be approved. So this is how a manager can also approve the time recordings or the time timesheets done by an employee. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to get notifications on my new video.